It's 2009. Our hero, Cayman Pomorski's parents, owned a transportation company. When they retired, they left their son a small garage with no special equipment. Gerard stayed in it by himself, laboring as a mechanic. The market at the time, however, forced it to look for companies engaged in fixing turbines and injection molding. All this to make sure that the cars entrusted to him became functional again. However, outsourcing became too expensive. The situation only caused frustration for the owner of the workshop. After a year of unprofitable work, he decided to put everything on one card to buy the first machine to regenerate the injection molding. Our hero becomes independent, but credit is getting tight, and again he's barely able to make ends meet. The breakthrough comes in 2012. A combination of happy events makes Western counterparts appear. A company from Germany works with a partner which has so far been of little importance, even in the internal market. From then on, everything moves forward. There are other contractors. GDS Turbo restores injection molding for authorized car dealers not only in Germany, but also in Austria, the Netherlands, and Sweden. A small company with three employees begins to grow. The dynamic development of the company leads to the achievement of the mass regeneration ceiling, a thousand injections sent by the customer. Gerard expands its machinery and introduces innovative technologies. Those first loans are now nothing but a memory. The introduction of innovative technologies the development of a diagnosis formula and a methodology of operation have made GDS Turbo start to regenerate parts considered to be unrepairable. Today, the company employs 30 people and has branches in several European countries. In addition to injection molding and turbines, it also regenerates components for ship locomotives and heavy equipment in the mining industry which is based on diesel-powered equipment. Staying with the times, the company is still developing repair methodologies and diagnostics, as well as keeping up with the dynamic development of automotive technologies, i.e. electrical, hybrid, and hydrogen devices. Now, the headquarters of the company has expanded considerably. Yet, it still reaches that old workshop where it all started.